We as individuals have a tremendous amount of power in our hands to make a positive difference to our planet, our health and animals. And this fuels my passion to share the research that I've done over the last 15 years, transitioning to a mostly plant-based diet. Most of us love the taste, smell, and social experience of eating meat, cheese, fish, and eggs. So why am I encouraging you to make plants the hero on your plate? We need to ask the question, are we herbivores or are we omnivores? We certainly behave like omnivores, and the oldest known mummies were found with meat in their stomachs, but they also had advanced heart disease, which is our number one killer. Our digestive systems resemble that of apes who very rarely consume meat. Carnivores' intestines are three times their body length. Herbivores and humans are about nine times our body length. Herbivores, like humans, have to consume or eat their vitamin C. Carnivores have canines that protrude and are sharp for tearing meat. Herbivore jaws move from side to side. Carnivores have hinge joints, allowing a wide opening, unlike herbivores. Carnivores swallow their food whole. Herbivores chew and start the digestive process in the mouth. Carnivores have much larger stomachs, allowing them to gorge once a week on meat. Herbivores, like us, have much smaller stomachs. The pH of a carnivore's stomach is much more acidic, which is necessary to kill bacteria in decaying flesh. Carnivores and omnivores drink by lapping, herbivores by sipping. Carnivores cool themselves by panting. We cool by sweating. Blocked arteries or atherosclerosis affects only herbivores. Dogs, cats, and lions can eat saturated fats and foods high in cholesterol and pluck does not develop in their arteries. Cholesterol is only found in animal products. We do not have to give up on great food. There are countless delicious plant-based recipes. Study after study shows that the more animal products we consume, the more likely we are to fall sick and even die from our top 15 killers. Dr. Michael Greger summarizes his research from the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control, as follows. Most heart attack patients fall within the recommended levels for cholesterol. Therefore, current dietary guidelines are just not low enough to cut heart attack risk. Finland converted dairy farms into berry farms. They saw an 80% drop in cardiac mortality. The largest study on diet and cancer ever done showed the incidence in all cancers combined was lower in vegetarian compared to meat eaters. Even the Journal of Meat Science asked, should we become vegetarian or can we make meat safer? The blood of those on a vegan diet was eight times better at suppressing cancer cell growth. Meat eaters have twice the odds of being on aspirin, sleeping pills, tranquilizers, pain meds, blood pressure pills, laxatives, and insulin. Fewer cataracts, the leading cause of blindness, weight loss, the only diet and food group on average that falls into a healthy BMI. The more animal products you eat, the more overweight you're likely to be. At the age of 21, I was 10 kgs heavier than I am now aged 46. Energy. My husband did an experiment going vegetarian on and off every month for a year. His energy levels were much higher the months he was vegetarian. Cheese. How much do we love cheese? Cheese is addictive. Dairy protein has opiate molecules built in, and when consumed, these fragments attach to the same brain receptors that heroin and other narcotics attach to. Lactose. 65% of the world is lactose intolerant, and many suffer especially with skin problems, asthma, coughing, and nasal congestion. An alternative is plant-based milks and cheeses made from potato and corn, coconut oil, olive extract, paprika, carotene, and vitamin B12. Normal cheese is made from milk mixed with rennet, which is the inside scraping of a calf or lamb's stomach, 
bacteria and salt. So the bacteria defecates and this becomes the solid cheese. So in essence, and sadly, cheese is a block of bacteria poop. Eggs. The American Egg Board can't legally claim eggs are any of these in their advertising. Nutritious, low in fat, part of a balanced diet, low calorie, healthful, healthy, good for you, or even safe. Manliness. <laughs> Men on a plant-based diet have a higher level of testosterone, healthier libidos, and a lower risk of erectile dysfunction. If you haven't watched the Game Changers, I suggest you do, because they study three college athletes and their erections during the night. In every instance, the results favored the plant-based dinner and showed up to 477% increase. Strong men. The gladiators, surprisingly enough, were vegetarian. One of the strongest men in the world holding a Guinness World Record is Patrick Baborman, a vegan. Who doesn't love a man who smells good? Women rated the body odors of men to be more pleasant, more sexy and less intense after giving up meat for just two weeks. They blindfolded candidates during the experiment. A study done on 1,765 children showed that on average, Adventist vegetarian children were taller than their meat-consuming classmates. Starving people. 690 million people are malnourished in the world. And we could eradicate hunger because more than 50% of all food grown on the planet is fed to farm animals. And only a small percentage of that is converted into something we can eat. Protein. A plant-based burger can often have more protein than a beef burger. The longest living humans on planet Earth are found in blue zones. Each of these five populations follows a plant-based diet with 95 to 98 percent of their daily calories coming from whole plant foods. So we could consume meat once a week and we could safely fall into this category. Our love of animals. Speciesism is the discrimination in favor of one species. A shirt that comes to mind is dog lovers don't eat dogs and animal lovers don't eat animals. Over 153 million farmed animals are slaughtered unnecessarily every day. Animals experience the same fear as us. All animals want to live. 150 to 200 species of plant, insect, bird and mammal life become extinct every single day. We are down to 4% of our natural wildlife because farm animals and humans are now 96% of all species on Earth. Male chicks are electrocuted, gassed, or minced at birth as they do not lay eggs. 50% of people would rather go vegetarian than kill their own dinner. A prank in a supermarket clearly showed people's true emotion when they were led to believe a pig was being minced on the spot to give them fresh pork sausages, and they were outraged. When we handle plant-based food, something inside of us smiles. If you take a dog or a bear into an abattoir, it would lick its lips because they are carnivores and omnivores designed to eat meat. But as humans, something inside of us feels discomfort when we see blood and slaughter. Some people believe free-range chickens are okay to eat. Thousands of chickens walking in their own feces crammed into large feeding pens for their whole life never to touch grass or see the sky. They are fed growth hormones and antibiotics, which are passed on to those that consume them. That's us and our children. Our bodies also ingest the adrenaline or cortisol that is fiercely racing through their veins at the time of each slaughter. Some of us believe it's morally okay to eat animals. I found through my research about a term called thanatosis. Animals will often fall into a trance-like state to avoid danger from predators. And this happens throughout the animal kingdom. Thou shalt not kill. This is very much in line with the teachings of love and non-suffering found in most religious texts. The organization PETA clearly defines that animals are not ours to eat. They are not ours to wear. They are not ours to experiment on. And they're not ours to use for entertainment. And they're not ours to abuse in any way. 
our beautiful planet Earth. Every second, 1.5 acres of rainforest is lost to create more space for animal agriculture and their feed. In North Carolina alone, there are 2,000 pig farms with catchment areas sometimes the size of four football fields collecting urine, blood and feces. These are seeping into clean waterways, creating ocean dead zones. Clouds are no longer forming like they used to over deforested areas, which is affecting our weather patterns. Not only is this industry warming up our planet, it also causes ocean acidification, which makes our oceans uninhabitable to marine life and kills off entire reef ecosystems. If fishing trends continue, oceans will be desolate in less than 30 years. One acre of land can feed 14 times more people on a plant-based diet than the standard American diet. If we did turn to a plant-based diet, five billion football fields of land could be returned to forest land, which is important considering in our lifetime, we've cut down half the trees in the world. And at this rate, we have only about 40 years left before we destroy all the trees. 50% of our natural resources are used for animal agriculture. We only need 5% of these natural resources to sustain a plant-based diet for all of humanity. And it takes 2,000 liters of water or 10 drums to produce one beef burger. Agriculture consumes more water than any other major global industry, accounting for 70% of global water use. We were given an incredible ecosystem in which to live, but we are destroying it every single day by the choices that we make. We are squishing into tiny houses and sky-rise buildings, but imagine we could all live in comfortable houses on a large property surrounded by nature if only we chose to eat more plants. My name is Heather Drummond. My research is available on request, and if you have been inspired by what I've shared Today, please do join our growing community who celebrate every single step towards wellness and sustainability. Thank you.